Let's do an example using the concepts and equations we developed for the harmonic oscillator. Uh, let's do this example. Calculate the zero point energy for the vibration of uh, chlorine 2, uh, Cl2, and note that we have to specify what isotope for atoms that have different isotopes will have different vibrational frequencies. So to do uh, accurate calculations we should talk about isotopes of various atoms. So we're talking about the 35, the isotope Cl35 of this, uh, using a harmonic, model, uh, os uh, har <laughs> harmonic oscillator model. We're given the force constant for the bond and we're giving the mass. So let's calculate the zero point energy. So here we have chloride or chlorine 35, which is bound to chlorine 35. And what we want to do is to calculate the zero point energy. The zero point energy, remember, is um, equal to one half h bar omega. So we can just figure out these quantities, multiply them together, and then we get the zero point energy. Now remember, omega, that's the vibrational frequency in radian per second, is equal to the square root of k over, now here we're going to do reduce mass mu because we have two atoms of diatomic molecule vibrating and one end of the molecule is not fixed in space. So we have to use the reduce mass here. The reduce mass we know is, uh, well we can actually quite easily uh, do that. Remember the example for a homonuclear diatomic molecule, the reduced mass is just the mass divided by four, uh, divided by two, half the mass. So it's 34.9688, this is gram per mole, uh, divided by two. Now uh, this zero point energy, let's calculate it in terms of um, actually, was it asked to calculate? Let's see. Um, no, but let's actually calculate zero point energy. Let's add to this problem in uh, SI unit or in joule. All right, so we're going to put everything in SI unit. Is the gram the SI unit? No, it's not. And this is for a single molecule. We want the zero point energy for a single molecule which means you don't want it in per mole, we want it in per molecule. So we're going to have to take the reduced mass and multiply by 10 to the minus 3 kilogram per gram and we're going to have to divide by, we'll put this down here, Avogadro's number 1 over, or was 1 mole over 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecule. So when we're doing these calculations, make sure we put, and if we want the SI units, make sure we put this in kilogram and this in molecule, because we're doing it for one molecule. So the reduced mass in this case comes out to be uh, 2.904 times 10 to the minus 26 kilogram per molecule. All right, the force constant was given in the problem as uh, 329 Newton per meter. Uh, Newton is the SI unit of force and meter is the SI unit of length so we're just you can use that number. Alright so let's put all of these things in. So the zero point energy of this molecule is just one half times Planck's constant divided by 2 pi that's 1.055 times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds SI unit and the square root of K given in the problem was 329 Newton meter SI unit divided by the reduced mass not the mass but the reduced mass uh, 2.9044 times 10 to the minus 26. So the zero point energy for CL comes out to be 5.61 times 10 to the minus 21 joule for this molecule. Okay, so that's a fairly straightforward problem. The only um, uh, things you have to remember are make sure it's in um, a uh, per molecule basis if you're going to calculate it, the zero point energy of a single molecule and also make sure that if you're in gram per mole, 
change it to kilogram if you want the energy to be in SI units.